What is up everybody? Welcome back to another MWZ video. Today I'll be discussing and talking about the Season 1 Reloaded Update for Zombies and more specifically the quote new boss fight. They've added the new Stronghold Warlord Fortress. This is a, a very marginal update at best. Like You're going to see here in some of the video footage but anyways I'll be discussing this. It's kind of be a, a like a soft rant slash discussion slash just talking about my experience with it so far because there's not really much to talk about. But anyways, we'll get into this. So this new warlord is pretty easy to take out in my opinion. Like you could do this solo, especially if you come in with pack a punch weapons. You come in geared up, ready to go. It's Especially if you bring in the Stormender Launcher, the EMP kind of gun. Th that is the strongest thing you can use in this because all the sentry turrets, the drones, the electronic warfare weapons, you can just instantly destroy and disable with this. It, it just makes it so easy. And I don't think that they kind of intended it to be this easy, but unfortunately it's definitely much easier than the Legacy one because the Legacy one was kind of a... This is just the, the hornet's nest of enemy AI. It was, there was just constant AI everywhere. There was dangerous snipers and the real heavy armored AI that would just melt you. And then you would have a helo that was flying around just constantly pounding you until you went inside. This one has none of that. In fact, it is a very linear progression through the fortress. And it's a very linear kind of fight with the boss itself. Once you actually get to her... She more or less just takes a little bit of damage. You break some of her drones. She flies to another position. You break more of her drones and do some damage to her. And then she flies to another location, which is pretty much the final one. You destroy her drones and you just take her out like a normal AI. Like her health is much lower than you would expect it to be. So she's super easy to take out. And then once you do that, that's it. You get a reward rift and self revives all she drops. And most of the time the reward rift does give you some decent loot, but it is, it's basically the same thing you would get from like a tier two or a tier three area contract if you complete that. So you literally, you get the same loot for doing this as you would if you just drove around one of the, uh, the armored LTVs for a contract. It's worth it, but at the same time it's not because there's much easier ways to get the same exact loot. And then just the overall difficulty of this, I mean, you could do this solo easy, good, and like god tier players are going to have absolutely no trouble with this. Even people that are not very good at zombies or don't play this much, you just jump in with another squad or a couple friends, you'll have no problem. I mean, you just fight your way through some AI and pretty much take her out just by shooting and that's it the, the most difficult part is is she sends these bomb drones but if you have the storm mender you can literally just destroy these things instantly they're just there's no chance of them harming you if you have this weapon because you can just instantly take everything out so unfortunately this season one's update for well season one reloaded update for this is very just marginal at best because they didn't add anything significantly harder or significantly better it is a kind of a unique twist on a uh, warlord fight but overall i don't think it was worth removing the legacy over this like adding this was cool but to remove that too almost feels like they removed more content that they've actually added to this game and it's kind of unfortunate that this is the direction the game's taking right now but there is still another, what, five or six seasons left in this game's life cycle. So we may still see better Warlord boss fights and better content or just more content in general added to this. I'm sure they can think of something better than a new Warlord to replace th this one. And then that be it for the next update. So anyways, this is kind of my discussion and my thoughts on this, uh, this update for Zombies. It was... Probably the smallest in terms of new content. I know they did fix some things. They did adjust a few things in the game. I'm not really going to discuss that. I'm kind of leaving that stuff for other videos, other content I'll be posting. So, anyways, this is my uh, my thoughts on the new boss fight in Season 1 Reloaded Update. So, 
I'm sure some of y'all can relate to this because um, I know a lot of people are kind of disappointed with this and it's shared on the fact that I've actually played this and I've actually beat the boss fight a few times now. I know what I'm talking about. I've experienced about all there is to experience with it. So anyways, if you watched the whole thing, thank you very much. And until the next video, I will catch you all later.